Yeah, so this, um, you know, the modern world, right, with its uh, its institutions, right, and specifically its educational institutions, right, are, you know, about creating, uh, producing knowledge, right, and uh, knowledge in people and people that are able to deliver knowledge. And so Nietzsche, who did work at the university as a professor, you know, you know, on the one hand says, well, this is great. This is something that we as humans can do. We're, we're great creators. We're great builders there. But, you know, he sees sort of the, um, the pathology in it, right? That this drive for truth and this drive for knowledge, right, can become um, so, um, so absolute that we become sort of healthy, unhealthy, pathological individuals. And so in general, Nietzsche sees modern society as being pretty unhealthy. Uh, it's developed some great things, right? But these great things that it's developed are now sort of uh, ripping it apart on a psychological or existential level. Um, and so that's what he means, you know, when I use the word disciplined and instrumentalized, right? You know, that's what education systems do, right? That's what they're designed to do, or at least part of what they're designed to do at the university, right? Um, and so keep that in mind, right, that, uh, you know, this idea of disciplining, instrumentalizing, specialization, I mean, that's really what you're doing as a university student, right? And Nietzsche is saying, you know, it's good on the one hand, but it has consequences. Um, and you want to keep that in mind. And the last thing to look at is this idea of human nature, right? So human nature, human ego, keywords here, Hobbesian or Lockean truth play. What's he arguing against? Uh, human, you know, does human nature exist? Everyone uses the human nature argument, right? You hear about 20 times a day, people will claim, well, it's only human nature, right? Um, but Nietzsche is questioning that, right? Do we really have a human nature? Is it fixed? Um, and if it is fixed, is it knowable, right? So he questions both those things. He basically sees the human nature argument as sort of a projection just of human ego, right? That people make a human nature argument or just sort of, you know, making their own egoistic claims about what it means to be a human being. Um, and so, um, you know, our human nature, if it does exist, right, and if it is quantifiable, for Nietzsche, it's not moral, scientific, rational, or altruistic. Uh, there's no categorical imperative. There's no divine intervention. Uh, we're not pre-programmed, you know, to be that way. 